Hypocalcemia is the most common complication after total thyroidectomy, and while most symptoms are transient, they can be severe and even life-threatening. The standard of care for patients undergoing total thyroidectomy is post-operative supplementation with calcium and vitamin D. This regimen has been well studied and proven effective in decreasing the rate of post-operative hypocalcemia. The primary objective of this study was to determine if preoperative supplementation with calcium and vitamin D reduces the incidence of hypocalcemia after total thyroidectomy. We designed a prospective randomized trial, which included all patients undergoing total thyroidectomy in our institution. Those randomized to the intervention group were started on calcium and vitamin D five days in the preoperative period and continued postoperatively per our standard protocol. The control group followed our standard practice with postoperative supplementation alone. The primary outcome was postoperative hypocalcemia and secondary outcomes included any need for intervention, the length of stay and rate of readmission. What we found was that there was no statistically significant difference in either laboratory or clinical hypocalcemia between the two groups. We also found that there was no statistically significant difference in the need for intervention, the length of hospital stay, or the rate of readmission. Finally, we performed a multivariate analysis to look for risk factors associated with hypocalcemia. We hypothesized the greatest risk factors would be prolonged operative time, the need for concurrent lymph node dissection, or reimplantation of parathyroid tissue. However, there was no difference identified between the two groups for either of these. Based on our study, although limited by cell sample size, we have concluded that preoperative supplementation with calcium and vitamin D does not reduce the rate of postoperative hypocalcemia, nor does it reduce the length of hospital stay or the rate of readmission. Therefore, it is our recommendation that we continue standard practice with postoperative supplementation alone.